Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Uh, today we are back in DCS World and going to go into the mission editor and look at uh, waypoint switching for AI assets. So let's go ahead and jump on into the mission editor. We're going to create a quick and simple scenario uh, that's going to force our AI assets to switch their waypoints. Okay, so let's go ahead and select a helicopter. Uh, go ahead and select um, a male in here. Uh, should they go ahead and make him a UK-based asset? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him just all in it, orbiting uh, here on the coast of Limassol. You know, just just flying about. There he is. Look, nice model. That. Yeah, okay. Send us have him at a thousand feet. Come to waypoint one, and at waypoint one, uh, he's going to perform a task. It's going to be an orbit. It's going to fly around it in a circle at 68 knots at 1,000 feet for 15 minutes. Okay. Next, I'm going to create a second waypoint, waypoint 2. And at waypoint 2, he's going to do the exact same thing. He's going to go to waypoint 2, orbit in a circle at 68 knots at 1,000 feet for a duration of 15 minutes. After that, He's going to come and land at Akrotiri. Okay. So we've got a basic route there set up for him. Now, what if all of a sudden we had this bit of this bit of ocean here? Let's make it a nice box. What if this was all of a sudden a, a bit of a contested bit of ocean, and uh, we had a hostile ship come into that area? So let's go ahead and add one of those, and just have one of those. Whether that can shoot down a helicopter or not, I don't know. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, let's just say it can't, or it can. And we're going to have him come and sail right into uh, this trigger zone, or this area that we've designated as a hostile or disputed bit of water. Okay. And as we can see here, it's going to take him eight, uh, 14 minutes to get from his spawn point to his destination point. So it'll probably be a bit earlier than 14 minutes when he actually enters the zone. Okay, so we could say that we don't want our helicopter now to fly into that area because there is a hostile ship that could shoot it down. Now that we know we've got no weapons on our helicopter, so it can't defend itself. So rather than having our helicopter continue uh, start its orbit at waypoint one and then go to waypoint two and do another orbit when it could become under attack from our ship, uh, we're going to want it to just bypass waypoint two and head straight for Akrotiri from waypoint one. So one way we can do this is we can set a series of triggers. But for a series of triggers to be set, we have to assign something to the aircraft itself. So if we select our helicopter and then come back here to our triggered actions, I'm going to click add. And we're going to come down here to perform command. And in the action, we're going to hit uh, switch waypoint. So this is going to be the waypoint that we want the aircraft to switch to, and we can select it at any point in the mission. So I'm going to want my aircraft to head to waypoint 3. So I'm going to go ahead and select waypoint 3. Okay, so now we have a an action created, or a triggered action created, and we can go ahead and implement that into a, a series of uh, rules for the triggers. So what we want is we want if this ship enters this zone, then our helicopter is going to head to waypoint three. Okay, so we'll go ahead and on hit, click a new trigger. Not bothered about the name. A condition is obviously here. You can set, you can uh, have a bit of fun with the conditions and, and play about with it to suit your mission itself. But I'm just going to go for um, part of a coalition in a zone. So this could be any red coalition, which is what I've got selected, red, in the zone. So for our case, we've only got one uh, trigger zone. So it's new trigger zone one in new trigger zone one. And any type of asset in there. And 
I'm going to AI task set my helicopter, which is rotary one, to switch to waypoint three from its current position. Okay, let's go ahead and select that. And it's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and jump into the machine and see what happens. Remember, I was going to have my helicopter orbit at waypoint one for 15 minutes, then at waypoint two for 15 minutes, and then land. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what it does. Now I'm going to speed things up a little bit, just to make it so you know this sat for ages. Uh, nice model. And uh, let's just go ahead. Yeah, well, there's our ship, and he's now uh, setting sail. Okay, so here we can see our helicopter. You know what I'll do? I will change it so that, for the purpose of this video, uh, the ship cannot engage weapons hold because we didn't get very far that time, did we? <laughs> so let's try that again. Okay, so now our helicopter is going to enter his orbit and he's going to be here for 15 minutes unless that ship enters that trigger zone any sooner. So here it is, doing orbit, orbit, orbit. There we go. Our ship's now entered uh, the trigger zone that we set up, which would have been roughly about there. And now our helicopter is heading for Akrotiri rather than the second waypoint. There he is, going to come in and land. Boom. And it's as simple as that, and that's one way we can use uh, triggers uh, with a set of conditions uh, to push or to, for AI to switch their um, routing or waypoints. So remember, uh, helicopter is going to do all bit here at waypoint one. Then he's going to go to waypoint two, orbit again, and then I'm going to come into land. Because our this hostile asset has come into this trigger zone that we set up, he's bypassed that waypoint and he's going to he's come ahead here and landed instead. So I hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments section if you have any issues, and I'll try and help you out. Also, put some um, give me some ideas in the comments section of what you'd like to see from the mission editor, and I'll see what I can do for you. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And if you can share it, even better. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.